guys welcome back to my channel so it feels like it's been a while since i have filmed a boxy charm unboxing for you guys and that's because i pause my boxy charm box every other month for budget reasons and just you know as much as i love makeup i really don't need an overload of products so i like to get through them i like to enjoy them first before getting new products with that said there is some fomo involved so every other month of boxycharm is a good rate for me so this is the january base box from boxycharm and it looks pretty thick and heavy and huge like if you look at this one it's not as thick so i'm really excited for this box so if you want to know what I got in my January BoxyCharm base box, then keep on watching. Okay, first things first, I want to say thank you, thank you so much to Jessica Cifuentes. She has a YouTube channel and I'll put it up here. And I won her last giveaway of the year in December, 2020. I know I've been lucky this year, like literally. What I love about Jessica's channel is all of her tutorials as far as back to the basics on makeup. So if you are someone who is starting out with makeup and you wanna learn more on how to do certain things, how to do a wing liner, how to con contour how to apply blush how to do concealer jessica teaches you all of that and that's my favorite thing about her channel we're kind of alike in that we like to teach this is a place where you can learn something every time you visit our channel so definitely check her out but i want a mini giveaway from her and so it's in this little bag i got a card right there and let me read it i already opened it i already peeked through it i took some pictures of it she said congratulations and happy new year i'm really glad you won this giveaway you've been a really nice friend and i love watching your videos you always persuade me to buy new makeup lol but i always trust your reviews and you haven't let me down ever hope you enjoy your first juvia's place palette and good luck on your youtube journey jess oh wishing you all the splendor of the season and a new year filled with happiness p.s i tried to fit some goodies but the envelope was too small hope you like the sample so always enjoy a sample because that's the best way to try things thank you so much jess thank you for those really kind words so she kind of told you what i got right but let's look at the goodies first there's some little goodies in this bag first one are these super cute like earrings that are mini mouse shaped are they mini mouse oh my gosh they're so cute i also got a sample of the glam glow bright eyes illuminating anti-fatigue eye cream christopher robin regenerating mask with prickly pear seed oil Ooh, this is interesting i also got a revlon lipstick right there so pretty let's open her up oh it's a bright one looks like it has something hydrating in this in the middle there so i'm interested to know what this is all about and the star of the show like she said on the card the nubian by juvia's place so it's already out of the box. I had to take some pictures of it for Instagram, but I haven't touched it. So I have been wanting to try their formula. It is like just said, this is my very first Juvia's Place palette, Juvia's Place anything. Like I've never tried anything from Juvia's Place. So I cannot wait. Oranges, warm browns and some you know reddish browns are very flattering on my skin tone i always get excited when i get them so creamy oh my gosh let's see how their shimmers look oh it's super creamy can you guys see that oh i am like the worst 
swatcher. So I'm so excited. I can't wait to use it. Thank you so, so much, Jessica. And I wish you good luck on your YouTube journey. Oh, so back to BoxyCharm. Let's see what I got. I already peeked in. I know it's in there, but it's a surprise for you guys. There's the BoxyCharm logo. The pink one means it's a base box. Everybody that got BoxyCharm pretty much got one version of the pharmacy skincare, either the toner or the moisturizer. And I got the toner and I was hoping for a toner. Actually, I, it didn't matter to me if I got the toner or the moisturizer. They are both something that I wanna try. Pharmacy is a good brand. You can find them at Sephora. So it has 2% BHA pore cleaning toner. It's not just a very simple toner, but it has the BHAs. This one has like two key ingredients, papaya and moringa. Moringa, moringa, moringa extract helps to purify the skin. And then the papaya is actually good at absorbing excess sebum and it helps reduce shine. So actually this toner is supposed to be made for oily to combination skin. So I am excited for it. It's supposed to help with minimizing pores. So I'm all about that. So I am so excited that I got this. Let's look at the card i always start with the card but basically the theme for this month is boxy charm fresh start so that's what it looks like very nice and on the back of the card are all the items that i got in my boxy charm box oh by the way this pharmacy is made specifically for boxy charm like i think the packaging but they also sell their actual toner at sephora the pharmacy deep cleansing toner is 28 dollars. the next one is the bali lip balm it's a sweet orange and coconut lip balm coconut very hydrating i always appreciate that it's kind of like a lip oil so we'll see how that is i've never heard of this brand before it looks like this it's 33 dollars, guys so i'm really curious about that i can definitely smell the coconut and you'll see that shine but it feels very hydrating for 33 dollars, it better be good <laughs> yeah i can smell the orange so first you smell the coconut and then the orange what an interesting combination next item that i see is the laura geller high definition glow illuminator we had like a laura geller duo before i think it was like a blush um no it was a blush highlighter duo i didn't care for it because it was kind of like a cream formula and it wasn't very glowy so i'm curious about this one but it looks like this one is more shimmery than the other it looks like so let's see if you guys can see that yeah it's very natural looking this one looks like it's more shimmery to me it's not registering i like the first one better maybe with a brush the yellow gold is calling me though Ooh. sometimes you know swatching and actually getting it on your face can be totally different things. I'll have to use this more and decide whether I like it or not. But this Laura Geller is $33. Here's an expensive one. Always excited for it. Any product from Dr. Brandt. And it's an eye cream. Okay, this is the Dr. Brandt Do Not Age Triple Peptide Eye Cream. So it helps diminish signs of aging around the delicate area, including lines, wrinkles dark circles and puffiness 82 dollars we all know dr brand is a super pricey brand i have the dr brand eye cream still the one with retinol this one is a peptide eye cream so i'm not gonna open it yet because i want to finish off the eye cream that i have right now i'm still working through like two or three eye creams so if i don't get to this i'm definitely going to put it in a giveaway the last item in the box is something that i was hoping for the ciate london velvet palette look at that 
Even the palette feels, has that velvety feel to it. When you open up the palette, it also has that matte, look at this. And then there's a mirrored back, but it feels like matte to me. So it's such a nice texture. I love Ciate packaging. Their packaging is always on point. I haven't tried anything that I didn't like from Ciate, so that's telling a lot about this brand. All right, this is why I was hoping to get this. So pretty, look at the detail on that. Wow, okay, let's see. This is my first time trying Ciate London eyeshadow, so I really don't know what their pigmentations are. Wow, okay, I think you guys can see that one. First swipe, it was already very pigmented. So I swatched like seven colors, seven or so colors, six colors for you guys. So I hope you guys can see that. So I love it. The formula is slightly dry but creamy. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of fallout on this eyeshadow, which is something else that I look forward to. Nice, nice. I'm so glad I got this palette. Ciate London palette is $30. I know it looks like it has a lot of metallics and shimmers to it, but there's at least three mattes that I notice are here. This is a warm tone palette, but I think it has everything that you need if you're into warm tones. So that is everything in my box. What do you guys think? So I got the Ciate London palette. I got the Dr. Brandt Peptide Eye Cream. I got the Laura Geller High Definition Glow Highlighter. I got the Bali Lip Balm Sweet Orange and Coconut Lip Balm. And the toner. Did I tell you guys this is glass? The total of my box is $206. And I only paid $25 for this box plus tax, no shipping. Um, and this is their base box. So BoxyCharm has other boxes and it just gets better. So definitely worth my $25. These total $206. So not bad at all, wow. Okay, I love this box. What do you guys think? Do you like my box? I will pause BoxyCharm again next month, not because I don't like BoxyCharm, but you know, we want to try other boxes and we want to keep everything interesting here on my channel. I do have a giveaway. It's going to end January 20th. It's a perfume giveaway. So if you like to enter, please go ahead and watch this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews as well as some unboxings here and there hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll definitely see you back in my corner soon bye